Okay, well I'm out here today and I've got with me probably the most exciting new addition to the Night Fox line and that's the Night Fox Corsac. Now this is the first HD spotter that Night Fox have bought out and the difference between this and the predecessors that I've reviewed in other videos is pretty impressive. First of all, let's go through some specs of this. So the wavelength of this infrared unit is 850 nanometers. So that means um, I think that you can see a little bit of a faint red glow when you are spotting with the naked eye. Um, just if you look directly into the bulb, not that you should do that, um, but obviously rabbits will be. Um, I don't really think that will make much difference to the results that you'll get whilst hunting. The fixed optical magnification is three times. Now you can uh, digitally zoom in on the picture if you need to, but three times I think is pretty much ideal. Some of the other units that they've had have been, I think maybe one or two times, and especially with not being HD, I found those were quite hard to pick out quarry, like you could see a, an eye glow, but it was quite hard to tell whether it was a rat or a rabbit sometimes. Um, but with three times you've just got that little bit extra zoomed um, magnification and you can just identify quarry a little bit easier. Battery life I found you probably, well I was out for a couple of hours and I still had half power left. I wasn't using full full beam infrared the whole time. Um, the box suggests you get about three hours out of it and that's just using different settings which you would do. You wouldn't always have it on full IR, um, especially with the air rifle because sometimes you're going to be scanning things close and you're not going to need to be to be spotting 300, 200, 300 yards away. So yeah, I'd probably say that's about about right. You get a 32 gigabyte SD card included with it, which is it's good. I think it's a SanDisk Class 10 SD card, so it, it's good quality. It's the same sort of uh, card that you use in the GoPro, so um, yeah, nice and fast and does the job really well, so far as I could tell. Um, and obviously with that, it does give you the ability to record. So I'll put some clips in now of me out with the uh, the Corsac um, rabbit spotting and yeah just generally scanning and and from that you'll probably get a, a good idea of what I can see. So I'm just editing that footage and um, and I found an issue and it's one I've come across before with other things that I've had to record and that's that the files are recorded in, in AVI um, and that is pretty annoying for me because it means I can't use I can't use the footage on my uh, editing software without doing all sorts of faff, which I don't have the technical knowledge how to do anyway. So yeah, that's a bit annoying. But with that being said, the only time I've ever actually used files from a night vision spotter is doing the review. When I've been out, I've never needed to actually record anything. So realistically it's probably not the greatest deal in the world so in the box it comes um, in this nice case fits really nicely in there um, we'll open that up you've got a neck strap not that i tend to use it uh, a charger and an instruction manual it's pretty self-explanatory of how to use it when you're using it in the dark you remove this eye uh, this bung this allows more light to get in there um, you've got a focus wheel on the side so you can get your picture nice and sharp. One thing that I noticed straight away out of this was this little um, this little cover here for the SD card is sometimes quite tricky to get back in. Um, the tab just seems to bend in the wrong way. If you're persistent with it, it does it does go in, but it's not the easiest. It does just keep popping out until you get it just right, and then it then it's locked in okay. Um, obviously as always I like to be as honest as I can with these reviews so yeah that's just something I noticed. Um, yeah it takes six AA batteries um, again not my favourite thing in the world because A AA batteries cost money if you want good ones like Duracells. Um, ideally I'd like something that's more rechargeable perhaps a block so if I remove the batteries like that, it, I'd prefer it to be just one one charging battery that you can take out and put a new one in and recharge that to save you wasting batteries really. Um, but you know, 
you get a good three hours out of it so you're probably getting your money's worth especially if there's plenty of rabbits and rats about you've got a tripod mount on the back there so you can just put that on a tripod and look through it like that you've got various options on the top you've got your center um, on and off button when you turn it on you get a quick reminder of how to use the unit and um, where the focus is and uh, and to remove the bung so if you hold the menu down um, you've got all sorts of adjustments in there um, power save mode, date, time the brightness of the backlight so if I tend to have it as low as possible just so it doesn't affect my natural night vision quite so much you can change it from uh, three, three times optical zoom um, up to three times digital zoom so if you're zooming in times three on three times optical zoom I presume that gives you six times zoom altogether if that makes sense um, and that's just on that top button there it's pretty obvious there's like a magnifying glass with a plus on it and that just zooms in you get to three press it again and then it zooms back out to uh, to the standard uh, three times optical to change the infrared setting it's just these buttons on the far right um, you can change it down to zero and then all the way up to the usual seven as you can with uh, all night fox spotters the infrared torch is located in there if I turn it on you can just see that faint red glow and then back it down, back it back down to zero. The box says you can see to about 300 uh, to 200 yards. That's, if anything, an understatement. I'd say um, I found that I could probably see a little bit further than that. And one thing I did notice with this is it, the amount of ambient light it picks up. Um, a lot of the time, I didn't even have the infrared on, uh, and I could see really well in the fields. That ambient light was just enough to illuminate everything, and it was. Well, you'll see when I put the footage in, it was quite, I was quite astonished, really. So I'm just here at one of my permissions uh, with a new unit from Night Fox. And this looks like daytime, really. I don't have any, um, any infrared on whatsoever. This is just picking up from the ambient light. And it literally looks like daylight. You can even see the colour of the fence in there, um, the netting to keep the rabbits off. Um, but if I take the GoPro out of the night vision there like that, you'll see that it's completely, completely pitch black. So I don't really know what that means in regards to what sensors being used uh, in here, but it's far better than any of the predecessors that I've had from Night Fox. Um, You'd be able to see a little bit, but it would just be really grainy and you wouldn't be able to pick out things without turning the infrared on. But this is just so much better. Now, if I turn the infrared on like that, you can see everything turns black and white and it looks pretty much the same. The only difference being is now this would shine up a rabbit's eye or a rat's eye. Um, and if the if the infrared was off like that you'd just be able to see the outline of the rabbit so pretty interesting really let's have a look up into these trees here turn the infrared on yeah so looking up into the trees not that you shoot anything up there at night it's just something to look at um, it does help having the infrared on as opposed to off but even so, it's quite impressive to see the amount of detail and light that is in the in the environment that your eyes just can't pick up. Now, I'll put the weight in here. Um, so that's pretty much the specs and a rough guide of how to use it. If you want more information on how to use it, um, there's plenty of information on their website. You can download a PDF of instructions for anything that I may have missed. But that's all the features I used while I was using it to spot. Um, so what did I actually think of it while I was out in the field? It was a vast improvement on the on the old models. Um, the old models are quite grainy and they give off like a, 
everything seems to be a little bit blue, whereas this is grey, and with everything being full HD, um, it's just so easy to identify quarry, and yeah, I could spot rabbits out to 250 yards, no problem at all. The, uh, the eyepiece is a much better shape as well, for my face anyway, than the previous models. It really does cup the side of the face here. The whole thing's got like a rubberized coating, which is pretty good when I was out in the wet and the cold. It just stops you from slipping it about quite so much. Um, and then when it's in your jacket pocket as well, it stays there. It doesn't it doesn't want to jump out when, you, when you're moving around. Um, it is quite a big unit. So for this, when I was out, instead of using the neck, um, carrier. I just use my Ridgeline Pintail smock and then I could just put it in the pouch there and whenever I need to use it it was just ready to grab so if you've got a jacket with like a kangaroo style pouch uh, that's probably what you want to be wearing when you're using either of these or binoculars. These retail for 150 quid and for 150 quid you, I think you're getting a pretty good deal. Um, a few years back that just wouldn't be possible. You'd be spending probably over a grand for something of this quality. So it just goes to show that the, the quality is getting better and the price is coming down, which is what we all want to see. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please do give it a like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, if, if you want to get one, follow the link in the description and give it a go. Let me know how it is. If you have any issues, leave them in the comments. Like I'm sure other people will be interested to know your thoughts on it as well as mine.